when people focus on the word surrender, it always raises an antenna of me of how someone internally is defining the word surrender. A lot of people define it as giving up. A lot of people say it's exhaustion and it just forces them to kind of let go, if you will. For me, surrender is a choice. For me, surrender to the moment in front of me is a choice that I want to be more present. That I'm going to stop pretending in that moment that I'm in more control than I think I am. And I allow myself to breathe and connect into the moment and choose to allow myself to feel emotionally, mentally, physically, whatever it is that I'm feeling in this moment. I know that sounds so simple, but it's amazing how much of our lives we choose to push back and resist. It's amazing how much of our lives we don't like how we feel. We don't like what's going on. We kind of hold our breath and resist that whole process just because it's an uncomfortable process to go into. I think so much of us, so many of us in our lives, I think have not been given what we needed necessarily growing up or felt like we didn't get what we needed growing up we feel like we want more so when anything comes in our way that feels like more pressure more emotion more discomfort sometimes we have the tendency of pushing it away in the healing process it's really important to learn how to surrender to the moment it's really important to understand why you'd want to surrender into the moment this moment in front of us is an opportunity to learn how to be present. This moment in front of us is not only an opportunity to learn how to be present, but in this moment, there are so many things that are given to us to be able to help support our healing process. But what happens is, is we almost get into a fight mode and we don't allow ourselves oftentimes to allow what's going on back inside because we've learned a really bad habit of pretending that things in life and moments in life don't impact us, don't affect us, and that on some level we don't make a difference. So kind of what's the point there? So what happens is we learn to, to hold on more. We learn to want the positive, good, fluffy feelings more than the other when in fact they're all beautiful. But you might think about that and you think about feelings in general and you think about, well, if they're all beautiful, then how come I was rewarded for positive feelings and then I was, you know, made to think something was wrong with me if I had negative feelings or maybe I was hurt if I had a negative, a negative feeling like anger or jealousy or sadness. Well, did it ever occur to you that perhaps your parents just didn't know how to process emotions? They didn't know how to themselves deal with being uncomfortable. So this is the thing. Imagine if your parents didn't know how to deal with uncomfortable emotions, including just the basic feeling of pressure. So let's say you're getting ready for school in the morning and you're at your leisure pace, being in the moment as most children are. And all of a sudden there's this pressure of let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And there's this tightening that starts to happen. There's beliefs, there's ideas, there's things we lock into our brain and say, okay, I'm not going to do it this way anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to do it this way anymore. But this is a thing as an adult. I want you to think about something. Your parents most likely didn't have the skill set that questionably you may still not have, which I want you to pay attention to. How are you in taking care of your emotional self? How are you when it comes to creating more pressure on yourself to be more, to have more, to do more? This is a really, really important question because this is just a bad habit potentially that you have gotten from growing up in the household, the community, wherever it is you happen to become, you know, you got raised by. So I think the thing is, is stepping back, defining what surrender is to you and allowing yourself to remember that there's such a power in the word and the feeling of surrender. There's such a freedom of choice in the moment of surrender. You don't have to ever surrender to anything and that's a choice you get to make and you can choose to surrender to what's in front of you 
if you want to create more joy in the moment, more connection in the moment, because pushing back, fighting against things isn't necessarily going to be the awesome way to do that. It's an awesome way to create anxiety, depression, a feeling of overwhelm by not giving yourself the opportunity to allow yourself to actually have whatever feelings are there and learn how to responsibly express them and connect to people with you and around them. Now, a lot of people hear this and they're like, yep, I just didn't learn that from my parents. That's okay. It's time to stop blaming them and it's time to start learning how you can make a difference for not only your life, but the people around you and your own children and your own grandchildren. Oftentimes, excuses are an easy way out of not taking personal responsibility for ourselves. I want you to surrender, to pay attention, to let go of whatever you're feeling in this moment and trust in the perfection of it. If you're feeling angry, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling lost, take some slow, big, deep breaths and put your hands right here on the center of your chest. Breathing in, exhaling out. I give myself permission to feel whatever it is I'm feeling in this moment. I surrender to whatever it is I'm feeling in this moment. And I'm going to let myself breathe in, exhale out, breathe in, exhale out, and allow myself to physically, emotionally, and mentally feel whatever is in this given moment with courage, with respect, with love, and with a sense of connection that feelings come and feelings go. Conversations come and conversations go. What matters is how you're showing up for it. Are you resisting what's in front of you? Are you wanting to be right or are you wanting to be happy? Are you wanting to be right in the conversation with your wife or your husband where you're pushing back, pushing back, pushing back? What happens if you step back? What happens if you communicate in a different way so that you can create connection and that you can get the acknowledgement that not only you want, but that your person in front of you wants as well? It's learning how to be different than we were raised. That's the healing process. It's learning to surrender to things that are uncomfortable and knowing that in the moment, those uncomfortable things are the things that actually can give you little gifts, if not huge gifts, to be able to heal. Giving you opportunities to be able to heal. Any uncomfortable moment in your life has the potential of allowing profound healing should you know how to close your eyes and surrender into it. A good first step is just being willing to identify an emotion and take three slow, big, deep breaths, putting your hands on your chest. I give myself permission to honor whatever I'm feeling in this moment. I give myself permission to honor whatever I'm feeling in this moment. I give myself permission to honor whatever I'm feeling in this moment. The key of the healing process is what happens after that. Honoring is one thing, but then what do you do with the emotion? It's very common for me to hear people using their voice and they're very, very aggressive. It's your personal responsibility to take personal control and connection and a mindfulness around how you're communicating to the person in front of you. It's not about yelling if you're feeling angry. It's how do you work with those emotions? How do you honor them? Connect to the moment and then use that intensity of feeling to be able to use your words in a way to be able to express what it is you want. These are things we need to learn as adults. These aren't things that most of us were taught and it's time again to stop blaming where we've come from. It's time to honor how we're feeling and giving ourselves permission to surrender to the moment of not being right, but wanting to be happy and wanting to feel a connection in this moment. This is a huge video if you think about it. Give it some thought, connect in and ask questions. I'm happy to do videos anytime you want. Ask me as many questions as you can.